some other peripheral stuff. Um, the whole project uses a unified memory ar architecture, um, which means that the PowerPC processor and the generator hardware access, uh, both have access to the same memory space. Um, this is needed if we have some uh, memory accesses out of the hardware part. Uh, it needs to ex have the same view of the memory like the software part. Otherwise, it would make the whole venture pretty complex. Um, the hardware backend itself is uh, yeah, pretty similar to the LLVMC backend. So it's not using the DAG selector or something like that. Okay, now I'm getting more to the details. On the right-hand side, you can see the design flow, and we are currently over here in the binning pass. Um, the binning pass uh, is a simple heuristic, um, and it decides which basic blocks are software and which are hardware. Um, currently, the whole design flow works only on basic blocks, however, the binning pass can also work on the function level, but the other especially the hardware part is not working on a function level, so I'm going to focus on the basic block level. Um, the binning pass uses different features of the basic blocks to decide if it's more to be implemented in software. Then, uh, for example, it looks for terminator instructions, call instructions and loops, mm. and uh, data flow features like arithmetic instructions and the absence of fee instructions. And um, the heuristic is currently pretty simple, but it's just for proof of concept. And I think you can bring every heuristic, you find a corner case for every heuristic, so it doesn't make a difference how sophisticated it is for research at last. Um, okay, um, the filter pass uses uh, information from the binning pass. Um, it creates migrate begin and migrate end intrinsics. The migrate begin intrinsics intrinsic uh, replaces all the code not executed on the current um, hardware or software side. The migrate begin intrinsic itself is a variable argument function, which means uh, every incoming data dependency is one argument to the migrate begin instruction. Um, yeah. Then we have the migrate end intrinsic. Um, Contrary to the migrate begin intrinsic, we can have multiple migrate end intrinsics in one basic block. This is the reason for that is that this work is based on LLVM 2.2, and LLVM 2.2 doesn't has any uh, doesn't have a multiple return type element. It's only implemented in, in the trunk or the 2.3 version. So um, probably it. In later work, it will be adapted to the multiple return types. So, but right now we have multiple of these. Um, each migrate end intrinsic represents, represents outgoing data dependencies, and um, the software backend handles the migrate begin intrinsics completely, which means um, it enables or they are pretty minor changes to the uh, software side to integrate the interface between software and hardware. Um, but first, a uh, short example. This is a function which has quite a lot of data flow I'm using this non-inline attribute so that the optimiza optimizations of the LLVM are not optimizing away uh, most of this stuff. Um, it's just a small example, which fitted on the slides. 
Um, on the software side, uh, this block is not to be implemented because it's executed on the hardware side. So all the instructions are replaced, as you can see over here. We have migrate begin and migrate end instruction. Um, if here we have a enumeration of the migrate begin instruction, which this number tells us at which point in the algorithm we are. We have, we have for example, multiple uh, points where we're going to hardware, and each point is enumerated. Here's the number of the arguments for the variable argument function, and then we have both arguments, which is the data flowing into the basic block, which is uh, which are these both arguments for this function. Uh, this function is mapped to one basic block, so um, um, it, it's a nice example. Um, then, after that, um, the PowerPC assembly is created with these migrate begin and migrate end intrinsics, and these migrate begin and end intrinsics are then uh, Transform or lowered as function calls, and these function calls. Here's an example of the migrate begin instruction. Um, here we have the information at which point we are, so we can set up our hardware in the right way. Then we look for the number of arguments, push the arguments over to the hardware side, and um, start start the hardware backend. And So migrate begin is uh, doing a parameter marshalling, pushing it to the hardware, and starting it. Um, for the hardware side, uh, there's nothing much to see uh, in LLVM IR because uh, the filter does nothing. It just leaves the LLVM IR alone because this is to be implemented in hardware. But, um, uh, okay, we see a VHDL example for this later on. It's probably then more, a little bit more uh, interesting. Um, but first, some more details about the VHDL backend. The VHDL backend itself uh, starts off from the same optimization optimized version as the software side. 